Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe. Breadfruit chips. Sliced breadfruit, deep fried to create crispy chips. Breadfruit chips are a delightful snack made from breadfruit, a tropical fruit that's starchy and similar in texture to potatoes when cooked. These chips are a popular and tasty treat in various parts of the Caribbean, including the Cayman Islands. Here's how to make breadfruit chips. Ingredients. 1. Ripe breadfruit. Vegetable oil for frying. Salt and other seasonings of your choice, e.g., paprika, chili powder, garlic powder. Instructions. Prepare the breadfruit. Start by washing and peeling the breadfruit. Remove the skin with a knife, just as you would with a potato. Slice the breadfruit. Cut the peeled breadfruit into thin slices or chips. You can use a knife or a mandolin slicer for even slices. Heat the oil. In a deep skillet or a fryer, heat vegetable oil to 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 to 190 degrees Celsius. Fry the breadfruit slices. Carefully place the breadfruit slices into the hot oil, making sure not to overcrowd the pan. Fry them in batches if necessary. Fry until they turn golden brown and crispy, which usually takes about 3 to 5 minutes per batch. Drain and season. Use a slotted spoon to remove the fried breadfruit chips from the hot oil and place them on a plate lined with paper towels to drain any excess oil. While they are still hot, season them with salt or other seasonings of your choice. Serve. Breadfruit chips are best enjoyed while they are still warm and crispy. They make a fantastic snack or side dish. Breadfruit chips have a mild, slightly nutty flavor and a satisfying crunch. They are a great alternative to traditional potato chips and are often served with various dips, such as salsa, guacamole, or a tangy Caribbean hot sauce. Whether you're enjoying them on a beach in the Cayman Islands or making them at home, breadfruit chips are a delightful Caribbean snack. Cassava cake. A sweet dessert made from cassava root, coconut, and sugar. Cassava cake is a popular dessert in many tropical regions, including the Caribbean. It's made from cassava, a starchy root vegetable, and is known for its sweet, slightly chewy texture. Here's a basic recipe for cassava cake. Ingredients. For the cassava cake, 2 pounds, about 900 grams, of cassava, peeled and grated. 1 can, 14 ounces, of sweetened condensed milk. 1 can, 13.5 ounces, of coconut milk. 1 half cup of coconut cream, optional, for extra richness. 2 eggs. 1 half cup of sugar. 1 quarter cup of melted butter. 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. A pinch of salt. For the topping, grated coconut or coconut flakes, optional. 1 half cup of sugar. Instructions. Prepare the cassava. Wash, peel, and grate the cassava root. Be sure to remove any tough fibers from the center. Combine ingredients. In a large mixing bowl, combine the grated cassava, sweetened condensed milk, coconut milk, coconut cream. If using, eggs, sugar, melted butter, vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. Mix everything thoroughly until well combined. Preheat oven. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Grease the baking dish. Grease a baking dish or a cake pan with butter or cooking spray to prevent sticking. Pour the mixture. Pour the cassava mixture into the greased baking dish, spreading it out evenly. Bake. Place the baking dish in the preheated oven and bake for about 45 minutes to an hour, or until the top is golden brown and a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Make the topping. While the cassava cake is baking, you can prepare the topping. In a small saucepan, melt one half cup of sugar over low heat until it caramelizes and turns into a golden syrup. Be careful not to burn it. Finish the cassava cake. Once the cassava cake is done baking, Remove it from the oven and pour the caramelized sugar syrup over the top. You can also sprinkle grated coconut or coconut flakes on top for added flavor and texture. Cool and serve. Allow the cassava cake to cool before slicing it into squares or rectangles. It's delicious served at room temperature or chilled. Cassava cake has a sweet, tropical flavor with a slightly chewy and gooey texture. It's a delightful dessert that's enjoyed in many Caribbean countries and is often served on special occasions and celebrations. Tamarind Balls Sweet and tangy tamarind fruit rolled into balls with sugar. Tamarind balls are a delightful and tangy treat made from tamarind fruit, sugar, and sometimes spices. They are a popular snack in the Caribbean and other tropical regions, known for their unique sweet and sour flavor. 
Here's how to make tamarind balls. Ingredients. 1 cup of tamarind pulp, seedless. 1 half cup of granulated sugar. 1 half teaspoon of salt, optional. 1 half teaspoon of chili powder or cayenne pepper, optional, for a spicy kick. 1 quarter cup of water. Extra sugar for coating. Instructions. Prepare the tamarind pulp. Start by removing any seeds from the tamarind pulp. You can do this by breaking apart the tamarind pods and extracting the pulp. Soften the tamarind. In a small saucepan, combine the tamarind pulp and water. Heat over low heat, stirring constantly, until the tamarind pulp softens and blends with the water. This should take about 5 to 10 minutes. Strain the tamarind. Pass the softened tamarind pulp through a fine mesh sieve or strainer to remove any remaining fibers or seeds. Add sugar and spices. Return the strained tamarind pulp to the saucepan. Add the granulated sugar and, if desired, the salt and chili powder or cayenne pepper for a bit of heat. Mix well. Cook the mixture. Over low heat, continue to cook the tamarind mixture, stirring constantly, until it thickens and pulls away from the sides of the pan. This will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Cool the mixture. Remove the saucepan from heat and let the tamarind mixture cool slightly. It should be cool enough to handle but still warm. Shape into balls. Grease your hands with a little oil to prevent sticking. Take small portions of the tamarind mixture and roll them into bite-sized balls. You can make them as large or as small as you prefer. Coat with sugar. Roll each tamarind ball in extra granulated sugar to coat it evenly. The sugar coating adds sweetness and helps prevent sticking. Let them set. Place the tamarind balls on a tray or plate and let them set and firm up at room temperature for a few hours or overnight. Enjoy. Once the tamarind balls have hardened, they are ready to enjoy. They have a sweet, tangy, and slightly spicy flavor that's both refreshing and satisfying. Tamarind balls are a unique and delicious snack that's perfect for those who enjoy a combination of sweet and sour flavors. They are a delightful treat enjoyed in the Caribbean and other regions where tamarind is abundant. Fried plantains. Slices of ripe plantains fried until golden and slightly caramelized. Fried plantains are a popular and delicious side dish or snack enjoyed in many countries, especially in tropical regions of Africa, the Caribbean, and Latin America. They are made from ripe plantains, a starchy banana-like fruit. Here's how to make fried plantains. Ingredients. Ripe plantains, yellow with black spots. Vegetable oil for frying. Salt, optional. Additional seasonings, optional, such as cinnamon or cayenne pepper. Instructions. Select ripe plantains. Choose ripe plantains that are yellow with some black spots on the skin. The black spots indicate that the plantains are sweet and ripe. Green plantains are less sweet and are typically used for savory dishes. Peel the plantains. To peel a plantain, cut off both ends and make a shallow lengthwise slit along the curved side of the plantain. Gently peel away the skin using your fingers or a knife. Slice the plantains. Slice the peeled plantains into rounds, diagonally or straight across, depending on your preference. You can make the slices thin or thick, depending on how crispy or tender you want them to be. Heat the oil. In a deep skillet or frying pan, add enough vegetable oil to cover the plantains. Heat the oil over medium heat until it reaches around 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Fry the plantains. Carefully add the plantain slices to the hot oil, making sure not to overcrowd the pan. Fry them in batches if necessary. Fry until they turn golden brown, which usually takes about 2 to 3 minutes per side. Remove and drain. Use a slotted spoon to remove the fried plantains from the hot oil. Place them on a plate lined with paper towels to drain any excess oil. Season. While the plantains are still hot, sprinkle them with a pinch of salt for a savory version. If you prefer a sweet twist, you can sprinkle them with a mixture of cinnamon and sugar. Serve. Fried plantains are best enjoyed while they are still warm and crispy. They make a fantastic side dish for savory meals or a sweet snack on their own. Fried plantains are a versatile treat that can be enjoyed in various ways. They can be served as a side dish with rice and beans, alongside grilled meats, or even as a dessert with a scoop of ice cream. The contrast between their crispy exterior and tender, sweet interior is simply irresistible. Jerk chicken. Grilled chicken marinated in jerk spices, served with rice and beans. Jerk chicken is a flavorful and spicy dish that originates from Jamaica, 
but it has gained popularity worldwide for its distinctive taste and unique cooking method. The name, jerk, refers to the technique of marinating and grilling the chicken over an open flame or on a barbecue grill. Here's how to make jerk chicken at home. Ingredients. For the jerk marinade, 2 to 3 pounds of chicken pieces, drumsticks, thighs, or bone in chicken breasts. 2 to 3 scotch bonnet peppers, habanero peppers, seeds removed, adjust to your preferred level of heat. 4 to 5 green onions, scallions, chopped. 1 small onion, chopped. 4 cloves garlic, minced. 1 tablespoon fresh ginger, minced. 2 tablespoons soy sauce. 2 tablespoons vegetable oil. 1 tablespoon brown sugar. 1 tablespoon thyme, fresh or dried. 1 teaspoon allspice, pimento, powder. 1 teaspoon ground cinnamon. 1 teaspoon ground nutmeg. 1 teaspoon ground cloves. Salt and black pepper to taste. Juice of 1 lime or lemon. Instructions. Prepare the marinade. In a food processor or blender, combine the scotch bonnet peppers, green onions, chopped onion, minced garlic, minced ginger, soy sauce, vegetable oil, brown sugar, thyme, allspice, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, salt, black pepper, and lime or lemon juice. Blend until you have a smooth paste. Marinate the chicken. Place the chicken pieces in a large bowl or a resealable plastic bag. Pour the jerk marinade over the chicken, making sure each piece is coated evenly. Seal the bag or cover the bowl and refrigerate for at least 4 hours, or preferably overnight, to allow the flavors to penetrate the chicken. Grill the chicken. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. If using charcoal, set up the coals on one side for direct and indirect cooking. If using a gas grill, leave one side on high heat and the other on low heat. Grill the chicken. Place the marinated chicken pieces on the hot side of the grill. Grill for about 6 to 8 minutes per side, or until the chicken is cooked through and has a nice char and grill marks. If the chicken starts to char too quickly, move it to the cooler side of the grill to finish cooking indirectly.